So, um, up till now what we have seen is what are the characteristics of the framework. Uh, now it's a time to let's go ahead and understand what is a target audience of ITIL. Uh, there are certain processes in ITIL uh, which are considered to be business inclined. There are certain processes of ITIL which are IT specific. So, if I look at business and IT, and probably the uh, only common connect between business and IT, where business understands what IT is talking, IT understands business is talking, is that common connect, which is most of the time is the dollar value, which we consider it as cost. Uh, when business talks to IT about cost, when IT talks to business about cost, they understand it without any ambiguity. But after that, the, the gap keeps on widening. Business, which is profit centric sometimes, doesn't understand the IT. IT sometimes doesn't understand why business is asking us to uh, follow or have those brackets of cost or time. That is where the ITIL will come into the picture and will try and gap, bridge the gap. So I have ITIL, which will uh, strike the golden balance between business and IT. My perception about ITIL uh, tells me that probably uh, first eight processes or so, uh, especially service strategy and initial process of service design are usually handled by the business with a little bit of help of IT. However, when it comes to the service design transition and operation, later part of service design, uh, primarily handled by IT and that is when business will understand that how IT functions and IT can optimize their existing processes. A processes like availability management, capacity management, IT service continuity management, information security management, change management, release and deployment management are IT inclined processes. Uh, this will help business to understand how IT functions and it will help IT to understand how to optimize things with the help of ITI. And that is how we look at as a target audience, we'll have business and we'll have IT. Uh, in order to know more about ITIL videos, uh, you can just proceed with the next video session. Uh, in next video session which we'll be talking about, we'll be talking about uh, benefit of ITIL at organizational level, benefit of IT, ITIL at an individual level. Why you should be ITIL certified, it's something which we'll understand. Thank you.